now we are going to fix our authorized routes they are open src then components then routes there is authorized routes not authenticate it's authorized route here we return outlet if admin or seller otherwise it navigate to unauthorized here go to the browser if someone click on dashboard then we want to show a dashboard menu here so we can make this authorized route a layout also we just need to wrap this outlet with some menu okay let's do so remove this outlet we will use it later then bracket okay we need import some components from MUI. so import box and typography from my materials okay then here is return box then another box here we can this is demo we will fix this later okay after that after that this box no we need to after this box box here is we need typography dash board after that this box here box need this fragment okay then another box Copy this ULLI, then paste it. After that, this box, we need another box. Another box. Why we need this? We will find out. In this box, it's outlet. So we left left hand side we will find this type of menu and like the case code we found this type of layout. Okay, Cop save this and components in components select component create a folder name it authorized. After this authorized, create a file, name it not file in authorized, create a folder, name it dashboard. In dashboard, select dashboard and create a file, name it dashboard dot js open dashboard dashboard js rlf okay save this file then open app dot js here is app dot js after update password 
इनपुट डैशबोर्ड हेयर इज डैशबोर्ड ओके देन हेयर इज आवर ऑथोराइज राउट सो वी नीड टू राउट पाथ इक्वल टू डैशबोर्ड then element equal to dashboard and close this route and here we need we need to make this authorized that means if someone want to go to the dashboard then it will be after slash dash authorized then slash dashboard okay have this file open terminal we don't find any problem let's go to layout then auth menu here is dashboard but before dashboard we need slash authorized okay save this close authorized auth menu then again open under layout drawer menu so we don't need to this okay remove this go to here and here is our dashboard click on this we will found our menu and here is dashboard component here is the dashboard okay we will now design it but before design i want a tree menu that is mui tree menu Let's see what is tree menu or preview. That's it. I need this type of menu. No, not this type of menu. I need this type of menu. It looks better. So. open this what we need so let's copy this i'm going to zoom here is export default function customized tree menu before this we are going to copy everything copy then close app.js then open authorized route close dashboard.js then here is our routes and in routes create a folder name it menu menus and under menus create a file name it tree menu dot js and before this tree menu function paste all of this okay after that go to the browser and here is our tree view and we need this preview 
copy and open a menu here remove this preview and paste it okay then go to authorize route here is our last ul before this we need to import this tree menu so import this tree menu import tree menu menu tree menu okay after that there is two ul last ul remove this then tree menu close this tag save this open terminal okay then open browser inspecting here we did something wrong that is we copy ts file not js file yes that means typescript we should have used js so again click on js hence we need history menu again preview copy this preview copy this and go open tree menu here is our tree view remove this tree view paste in there okay then everything before tree menu remove this and open browser and customize tree view before everything we need to copy and again go to the menu file paste it now save this open terminal it's can't resolve web spring web dot cgs so go top to the my file here is use spring and animated to use this tree menu we need another npm packages and we have to remove this so close the app and npm i then react spring that's it press enter okay i have completed my installation then again npm start again we found webpack compile three errors one warning so import use being animated from react being web.cgs here remove slash web.cgs okay then save this again close Stop the app. We need another package that is npm i at mui then slash lab. I have installed again npm start. Let's go to the browser. There are menu it's working but if you find a problem install or find any error this may happen and just run this line command npm install dash dash legacy dash pr dot dash d e e s i think this should be work or you can uh, uninstall some package 
and reinstall that. Okay. And start. Okay. Then authorized route. Here yeah. we need to design this route. So last box is x equal to the whole curly brace. Okay. Background. Background. Here is one nine seven six D two. Then display X and color sorry. Quotation then dash f f f and adding one okay after that this box here is need a class name class name equal to is m three menu is x equal to with 2 to 5 x then margin right 1 for that there is typography here is box box is 6 equal to Double curly brace, flex, row, one, then typography, typography component div, component div, then variant, any variant. Variant is six, then SX text align, make it center. Okay, save this file, open browser. Dashboard. Oh, yeah. Save again. Now this becoming this. Next. Do this for next box. This x equal to display. Display. Flex and flex grow flex grow one for that here is box class name class name D three minute. This x equal to need same thing. Sorry, this background then paste it. We need main width with this. Paste it. Okay. After that, we need 
margin right it is paste please okay here box this x equal to flex row one then this box this x equal to margin quotation zero or two after that we need padding padding one okay so this and okay. here is our but when we do in mobile this menu should not be there so let's open menus then after menus open routes here is routes under route create a file name is authorized dot css okay m tree menu equal to sorry display none then media query media media only print and max width 760 x okay then copy this entry menu paste there should be x and dot t to menu will display none save this file then authorize route here import authorize authorized it single quotation that is authorized dot css save this file open terminal sorry i think i Rename this authorized okay open browser then log out again login dashboard one of our menu is not there okay we need there is draw a drawer menu like this menu so let's do it open layout there is our drawer menu copy this drawer menu full file close this drawer menu and authorize dot css we don't need any more tree menu no we need it later so close then after entry menu menus click menus then 
create a file, name it drawer tree menu dot js paste file name it drawer tree menu and function name is drawer tree menu okay then authorize then we need tree menu to import there import tree menu and after that remove this tree menu sorry this map class okay import tree menu close tag tag then save this file save all not saved then open browser login your registration dashboard Here is authorized route. We need to import this drawer tree menu. Import drawer tree menu. Okay. Then remove this UL li. Here drawer tree menu. Close this. Save it. Go to browser. Here is this. Okay. Then you need to fix something. You don't see this in text of site. Go to tree menu. Then authorized route. Here is menu. M A N E O. Save this. Okay, go there. Log out. You're going to miss something. M E. Now it's not showing. Now it's in. But I need this background, this color. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. To do that, we need another box for background. Box style equal to sorry, box SX equal to authorized route. Here is the color. Copy this drawer menu background. Save this open drawer menu box is not defined. So we need box. Here is a material, then box and terminal problem. Now it's this, so we need to read height hundred DAs. Save this, open it. Now it's looking this.
we will customize this. Open tree menu. There is tree view. We need to customize this. After overflow auto color. Okay. Let's see this. Now it's better. Okay. Here is the height. We remove this and max width. Remove this. Remove this. Then open again. Now it's better. Need a, at least some width. So, so this mean width. Thirty five. Gw. Set this. Then go. Not becoming small. Now, but it's here is the problem. Okay, fix this. Mean with remove this. Then go dryer menu. Sorry, go and go and authorize route it then what is the problem so open to add menu you can set their box Then sixty W. There is three menu. Okay. Save all again. Now it's working. We find some problem. We will fix it. Okay. Here we don't need these menu items. We have to change these menu items. So open tree menu. There is tree view. I'm going to. Remove all these three menu. Then last one and um, node ID. Here is hello. There is menu main. We need their menu. And I'm going to copy this first one. This will be category. Second one. It will be brand. Third one, it will be store. Next, product. Then, review. After that, it will be order. Then user. 
okay else two then three four five six seven eight okay and remove this here style three many copy brand there is of this brand to category new category new category and copy this there is category list then copy this two lines Style three item. I think it's before this, not after this. Here is the same. Brand. Here is new brand. Grant list. Add to item. Paste this. Here is new category. This new store. Here is product. Same. Here. Here is product. Then review. Review. Review is just one, so we don't need this. Here, remember to review to review list. Here is order to them order list and user to user list. We cannot add admin cannot add any review or add any order or user. So after that eight, then here is nine, then ten, eleven, twelve, ten. enough and here you notice there is some problem this is the problem so here review flags grow remove this plague flags grow and overflow why just overflow auto to hidden okay save this and terminal no problem just let's see now there is no problem i think okay next what we'll do is if someone click this that should be go to this route 
so we need one for a package that is navigate navigate from get router down so that that is our tree menu const navigate equal to use navigate here we can const go to equal to navigate please is if we on click function set a route it will go to this route so let's do it new category on click equal to go to go to Slash authorized then category every route of this item list menu list will go to authorized so we don't need to specify authorized every time we can here add authorized then we don't need to add this copy this then category list is there and it will, it will be category list after that new brand is there it will be brand and there is brand list then store here will be store store list a new product 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 list and here is review list View list, then order list, will be user list. Okay, save this file. Click on new category. I think we will have to log out again. Dashboard. New category. It's not work, so let's we should call navigate in React use effect. Not when your component is first rendered. So let's sorry. This function should not be like this. It's should be arrow function. Okay. Copy this and paste every function.
get this right. Okay. Now categorized. Okay. Authorized category. Grand list. Authorized grand list. Okay, it's working.